Beautiful people of the Most High. So this is part two. Um, the curses of the adulterer. So one, unstable. Two, without understanding. Three, cursed children. Four, surely die. Going to prove this. This is what God wants me to talk to you about. When you're a thief, a curse is already on you. When you're an adulterer, a curse is already on you. And not to mention, when you're an adulterer, you have soul ties, spirit ties. You need, you need to fast and break all that spiritual bondage off of you. Um, Leviticus 20 and 10. And the man that commits adultery with another man's wife, even he that commits adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. So adultery brings death. Matthew 19 and 9. And I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, commits adultery. And whosoever, whoso marries her, which is put away, does commit adultery. Because that is not the wife God created for you. And that's not the husband God created for you. So if you put away that wife God created for you, and you take up another person, you're committing adultery. If you put away the man that God created for you, and you go get another man, you're committing adultery. That is not the person God made for you to have your blessed, the covenant with. To have your covenant children with. To have your blessed children with. If you have children with the person God did not create for you. Those children are cursed. He said it. I'm not saying I didn't curse your children. God did. And I'm going to prove it. And I'm going to read the word. And don't shoot the messenger. I'm just delivering the message how he wants me to deliver it. The truth hurts. The truth is sharp. Proverbs 6 and 32. But whosoever commits adultery with a woman lacks understanding. He that does it destroys his own soul. So the curse of committing adultery, you lack understanding. And you do it to destroy your own soul. You're destroying your own soul. This is what God wants me to say to you. There's curses that come with adultery. Being unstable without understanding, curse children and you'll surely die. And I'm going to read all the scriptures. You see, Leviticus says, surely be put to death. Proverbs 6 and 32 says, lack understanding and you destroy your own soul. So the curse of lacking understanding, destroying your own soul, obviously you'll be put to death. Proverbs 11 and 17. The merciful man does good to his soul, but he that is cruel troubles his own flesh. How are you troubling your own flesh by committing fornication and adultery? You're cruel to yourself. There, there's no self-love there. The merciful man does good to his soul, but he that is cruel troubles his own flesh. Because look, when you commit adultery, you destroy your own soul. But a good man does good to his own soul. But he that is cruel troubles his own flesh by committing adultery. You're troubling your own flesh and you're destroying your own soul. But a merciful man and a good man would not do that to his soul. The lust of a woman, no. 1 Corinthians 6 and 16, what? Know you not that he which is joined to a harlot is one body? For two, says he shall be one flesh. Because a man and a woman are the the man and God and the woman God made created for each other are supposed to be one flesh, but when you step outside of what God created for you, what is that? That's adultery. You're destroying your own soul. You're destroying your own flesh. And the curse of you're double minded. A person who's committing adultery is double minded. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So this is the curse that comes with committing adultery. Unstable in all your ways. No discipline. No sexual discipline. 
unstable in your life, unstable in your mind, can't decide. You want to be with him and him and him. You want to be with her, her and her. You want to be with them, unstable. You have double-mindedness and you're unstable in all your ways, full of doubts. Now, to prove that when you commit adultery, unstable. He wants me to read Genesis 49 and 4. Unstable as water shall thou not excel. You won't excel when you commit adultery. You're unstable as water. Unstable as water thou shall not excel because thou went up to thy father's bed. What did Reuben do? He committed adultery with Jacob. Israel his dad's wife that defiles thou it he went up to my crouch crouch but when you this is what God wants you to know when you commit adultery you're unstable as water and you won't excel as well these are curses that come with adultery nobody didn't have to do anything to you you did it to yourself People, some people are their own biggest enemies and they refuse to take accountability and turn away from their sins and wash and be clean. 2 Peter 2 and 14 Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling, unstable. So what is, so you would know that being, committing adultery, you are unstable. What does it tell you here? Unstable as water. What is Peter talking about in 2 Peter 2 and 14? He's talking about adultery. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin. Beguiling unstable souls. And, and a heart they have exercised with covetous practices. Cursed children. What does your adultery bring you? Unstableness. And curse children. Those are not children from God that He blessed you and your wife to have together. 2 Peter 3 and 16. As also in all His apostles, apostles speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. That's why you got to seek God for all understanding because some things are hard for people to understand, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest as they do also the other scriptures onto their own destruction because people who don't understand the scriptures, they're going to argue with you. They're going to because they're unstable and they're unlearned. But who are those people? People who are thieves, people who lie, and people who commit adultery. They're unlearned, and they're unstable, and they're the ones who will argue with you about God's word. They'll even say God's word contradicts itself. When they don't understand, it's precept upon precept, line upon line. Romans 1 and 31. Without understanding covenant breakers this is the adulterer without understanding covenant breakers they broke the covenant with god to have their wife they broke the covenant with god to have their husband they broke the covenant with god to have their covenant children they're without understanding covenant breakers without natural affection isn't a man supposed to love his wife as himself they're without natural affections Impeccable, unmerciful. This is what happens to people who commit adultery. 1 Corinthians 6 and 17. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man does is without the body. But he that commits fornication sins against his own body. What does it tell you about the body? What does it say? Flee fornication. Every sin that a man does is without the body. But he that commits fornication sins against his own body. What, what? Know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which you have of God, and ye are not of your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body 
and in your spirit, which are God's. Matthew 10 and 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul, but rather fear him that is able to destroy both the body, both the soul and body in the hell. 1 Timothy's 1 and 10. For whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers, for liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. Because people think it's cute. I stole her husband. I stole his wife. It's not cute. It's not cute because you're destroying your own soul. And God will kill you. Genesis 20 and 7. Now therefore restore the man his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, know thou that thou shalt surely die, thou and all that are thine. That's what happens when you commit adultery. When, you, when you, these people think it's cute, I have her wife, I have her husband. Well, you'll surely be put to death in everything that belongs to you. And all that are thine, that means those children that you had in your adulterous marriage or your adulterous relationship. James 2 and 11. For he that says, do not commit adultery, said also, do not kill. Now if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. Their sins unto death. Adultery is a sin unto death. You'll surely be put to death. Killing is a sin unto death. You'll surely be put to death. This is their sins that are unto death, and they are sins that are not unto death. But about the body, let's go back about the body, right? Because don't you know your body is the temple of God? For every sin that a man does is without the body, but he that commits fornication sins against his own body. You sin against your own body. But what does it say about people being cruel to their souls and cruel to their bodies? And their flesh. Proverbs 11 and 17. The merciful man does good to his own soul, but he that is cruel troubles his own flesh. And destroy the flesh. Proverbs 6 and 32. But whosoever commits adultery with the woman lacks understanding. He that does it destroys his own soul. What does it tell you about be, about God destroying your body and your soul? And fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him that is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Do you love your body? Do you love yourself? Do you love your soul? So these are the sin, the curses that come with adultery. And you should take this up with fasting and praying. Because as I've read the scriptures to you, you can read them. And if you understand not, you can always fast and seek on to the living God for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding according to this word that he wanted me to explain to you. Stay blessed, beautiful people, and please repent. If you're in these things... And ask God to remove unstableness from you, double-mindedness from you, lack without not without understanding from you, the sin of death, the shadow of death from following you, the spirit of death from following you, because these things follow you because you're under the curse.